Now, newsman Dennis Daly presents his unique look at current events in another of his wide-ranging daily video blogs. Hi, and thanks again, everybody, and welcome to Hawaii. To be more exact, welcome to Waikiki Beach. I'm up on the balcony of my 15th floor room here, and going to Hawaii is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time because Hawaii was the only state I hadn't been to. Now I've been to all 50, and the Pacific is right behind me. And it all started yesterday afternoon in Palm Springs. And there are a lot of ways to get from Palm Springs to Hawaii. You can drive all the way to Los Angeles and fly out of there, but United, at a good price, flew me to San Francisco and from San Francisco on over. At the Palm Springs Airport, I boarded one of these, a CRJ, a Canadair regional jet, holds a little over 50 people. They're really cute, and I used to fly this kind of plane a lot when I flew in and out of Cincinnati in the Midwest. For the San Francisco International Airport, went south of the west, about uh, 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 22. Good visibility, uh, scan of cloud cover, last reported temperature 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, we were airborne out of Palm Springs, and less than an hour later, we were landing in San Francisco. So the first short leg of the flight was over. The time is 3.40. We will be taxiing to the gate for the next few minutes. My concern was getting something to eat, which I did at horrible expense. This is the kind of plane I would soon be boarding, a 767. It's a small jumbo jet. Has two seats on one side, three in the middle, two on the other side, and two aisles, and it can go across the ocean on only two engines and on the back of every seat, an information screen. Finally, we took off from San Francisco. The afternoon was quickly waning, but we had to leave two hours late. The equipment was delayed on the East Coast where the weather was bad. And then, except for the time I went to Norway, it was one of the few times I had flown over water. Here we go. And this monitor kept me posted. There was an awful lot of darkness, and then five hours later, light, and then suddenly, because the airport's so close to the shore, here we were, landing in Honolulu. And it was dark, only 7.30, but they do not observe daylight time there. Yes, thank you very much, and you know, it's one small step, no, no, no. My feet went down on Hawaii. Now I've been to all 50 states. How about that? And here's a word I saw a lot in Hawaii. They almost overdid it. Aloha. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.